guys in life you have to be very careful about the words that come out of your mouth there are words that i spoke many 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 years ago but they still haunt me to this day it's very sad it's very sad that you can say a word and you keep remembering for the rest of your life and uh, guys i said something to somebody and i regret to this day because guys i still feel that it was very unfair for me to speak that way to this day i still feel very bad because i said a bad thing to somebody what happened is uh, my children were playing with her children out there and uh, my, my her children are very light skinned <laughs> you'll be very surprised at me but I regret to this day her children are very very beautiful kids and as you can see I'm a dark complexioned uh, lady I was up dark so I I used to find her children very very beautiful and I used to tell her because she was my friend but my two children were very 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 dark and guys uh, doesn't mean that darkness is not beauty my children were beautiful and they still are though they are grown up now but I still regret what I did this video one time it happened that my children were playing outside with us and then um, her, her child uh, you know the children play um, injured my child unwittingly and um, my child was the smaller one she was a girl she was the smaller child than uh, in size than her daughter so guys <laughs> my child comes home uh, inside the house crying and i'm like oh what has happened to you and um, she tells me it is this and that i was playing this and that uh, my friend and then he hurt me uh, and uh, why what happened uh, and uh, you know the way children explain and I was like oh but because my child was breathing I said okay now I can't wait uh, I cannot just uh, you know she was hurt she was injured uh, she fell on a piece of metal when they were running around and uh, it, it cut her knee so there was a uh, breathing and I was like oh now this now this has to, to be addressed uh, in hospital, so we have to go to hospital. So guys, I went to my friend's house, the mother of the child, and I knocked at the gate, and I requested that she comes and takes my child to the hospital with me because uh, um, she was injured, and she was like, oh, what happened? <laughs> so I said, uh, okay, it is your son who has hurt her. And like, how, how, how? And I was like, oh, ask her. Then my child was, was crying a lot, so she couldn't speak. And I explained to my friend that, you know, they were playing out together, and then this and that happened. And uh, uh, she's telling me, Sami is the one who dropped her, and she fell on a piece of metal and cut her. And I was like, she was like, oh, so that is the reason you want me to come and take, take her to hospital. Gosh, guys. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? She asked me if the reason why I'm asking her to come and take her to the hospital is because it's because my, her, her son is the one who, who injured <laughs> who injured uh, my daughter, and uh, she was not amused. And I uh, know I was not amused. I was like, how can you even think along those lines? All I'm requesting is that we get my child to hospital so that she's ditched and the breathing is, uh, stops. And uh, she told me, uh, how dare you? How dare you? You think the whole of this outside, your son was on, your daughter was only praying with my son. My son does not go, I've trained my son in the right ways. And he, he doesn't go, oh my God, can you even, I cannot even be able to put it the way it was put. Because it is shameful. This lady did not take it lightly. And I was also not telling her in a bad way. All I meant is I needed a It didn't matter who injured my daughter. But I just mentioned to her 
but she didn't take it uh, in a good way because she told me that she would not go to hospital. Can you imagine my reaction? That's why I say it is me who was hurt, or it's my child who was hurt, but I still live to regret the words that came out of my mouth. I told her, <laughs> you'll be ashamed of me. I told her, you also, you'll not assist me when you'll be a car to go to the hospital. That is, your son who has injured my child. Okay, let me tell you, you and your children will die. And they will die in a very bad accident, a road accident, not even a small accident. You'll die with your children in that car of yours. <sighs> and I hurried out of the gate and I went out there looking for a taxi. But guys, do you know what happened? Many years later, and sorry guys, don't take me, I'm not a witch. But let me tell you, I'm telling you this story so that you can check your, your, your mouth. Check the words that come out of your mouth. Always mind the words that come out of your mouth. A few years later, this family was involved in an accident. They were involved in an accident and they almost died. But one person in the car, who was not a family member, uh, died. But my neighbor's uh, family was injured and, and, and treated and they are okay today. But guys, do you know when I what came around that uh, uh, this and that family was involved in accident? Do you know what I felt? I felt like, gosh, what? Do they still remember what I told them? How ashamed I was. Because everybody in the compound went to go consoling them because of the accident, visiting them, and I could not show my face at the entrance of that home because the words that, of the words that had come out of my mouth. I was very ashamed. I regretted telling her that because in her mind, I knew, she knew and she was remembering what I had told her. And I was, I'm still very, very ashamed to this day that those words came out of my mouth. So guys, uh, I still feel that before we speak words out of our mouths, we should weigh them. Because suppose you say something and then something happen, happens after that. Something that is in line with what you said, it happens. Would, what would you, would, would, you, would you feel? You feel like, oh, is it my words that, that worked in their case or what? Are they going to call me a, a witch or what are they going to say I am? It, that was a very small incident that had happened because my son, my, my child uh, got stitched and she got treated and the whole thing was sorted out uh, treatment-wise. But uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, guys, I still, to this day, I'm very ashamed because of the words that came out of my mouth. Because I never look at this. I still live with her. I still live with her in the same compound. But we, we are not enemies. We are not enemies anymore. But you know there are things that you don't forget. You greet each other when you meet out there in the compound and say hi, hi. But you know in your heart, you <laughs> you told me something many years ago, and it still is never going to be forgotten. And what a shame it is to say things that will shame you tomorrow. I wish we could always check on our words before we speak them. I'm usually very, very ashamed and I wish that I never say these things. So guys, weigh your words before you speak them out because you can live to regret like I do to this day. Because I'm not very, very close to that lady simply because of what that I told her. And I'm sure it is in her, in her way, she may also be regretting why she she refused to assist me to take my daughter to hospital, uh, having been injured by the sun. But that is now hers. The way I, I, I feel tormented in my spirit about what I did, it is upon her and her God to also feel the way she feels about what she did to me. But in my case, I feel that I should not have spoken. I should not have spoken without thinking. It is not fair. It is always good to think before you, you speak a word. Because words have got power. And that is why you hear there is power in the tongue. Whatever you say in the tongue, get to know that there is power in that, in whatever you say. There is power in the, in the words of the mouth. Avoid saying things that are a curse or a, uh, are not good because they will have impact in your life.
so guys please like and subscribe to this channel and this is never age tv and guys we will see you in the next video bye